Hey, Kareem. Um, obviously, tough news with Nick. How are you viewing the situation? Uh, you know, uh, very tough, you know, to lose a guy like Nick, you know, a brother and a great teammate, great player. But uh, right now we got to move the next man up and, uh, you know, the other running backs, we're going to have to carry the load until we can get him back. You guys were able to, to rush for a, a bunch of yards, 307 yards the other day. I mean, so there's some evidence that, that, you know, you guys can keep it rolling, but do you feel like, you know, it's your time to put this running game on your on your shoulders, so to speak? Uh, most definitely, and uh, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to, you know, help the team win. So, you know, if that means getting more carries, then I'm fine with that too. My little ride now, you're up. Uh, yeah, Kareem, you've always been kind of a vocal guy, but can you, will you do anything, especially to rally your, you know, running back room now that Nick is going to be out? I mean, you talked the other day about kind of, being in Dearness here, but will you step that up in any way? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I'm just letting the other running backs know that we got, you know, some big shoes to fill. So we got to, uh, you know, keep it rolling, no drop off. So that's the biggest thing. Thank you. Tony Grossi, your line's open. Hey, Kareem, was there a point in the game uh, in Dallas where you had to shut it down? because of your groin injury and how are you feeling going into this week? Uh, it was, I'm feeling good, you know, I'll be ready to go Sunday. It wasn't really a moment I had to shut it down. Thanks, Chelsea. Jeff Shadell, you're up. Hey, Kareem, when you look at this uh, Colts defense, they're, they're really strong against the run, but overall, what, uh, what is the biggest challenge you have facing them? Uh, they got some great players on that side of the ball, you know, some big physical guys, some guys who can run, and uh, we just got to come ready to play, and we're going to give it their best shot. Scott Petrick, give our next question. Hey, Kareem. Um, without Nick, I assume that's going to be a bigger role for you, but the two of you together carried the ball so many times and touched the ball so many times. Are you able to take all that on yourself, or do you need somebody else to help you out? I mean, uh I believe I can take on the workload, but uh, honestly, it's not bad because I trust in those other guys too, Dontrell and Dearness De De Johnson. So, uh, you know, if I ever need a break, I know they'll come in and do a great job. And if it were up to you, would you give up third down reps or reps earlier in, you know, first or second down reps? Uh, probably, I wouldn't, <laughs> whatever the coach decides. All right, Coach Tom does a great job of throwing us in there and, you know, putting up some for the running backs. Thanks. Mary Kay Cabot, you have our next question. Uh, yeah, I know you talked about um, Dearness a little bit the other day, but uh, what kind of one-two punch do you think that you guys will make together? And, uh, you know, just how do you guys kind of complement each other? Uh, I think we can definitely make a, you know, nice one-two punch too, because Dearness is a great back and, we got a quick feet, quick guy, and, uh, you know, able to, you know, make some big runs. So I feel like we'll go good together. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Mary Kay. We'll go to Tom Withers. Thanks, Rob. Hey, Kareem. Hey, how are you a different runner from the guy that broke in with Kansas City three years ago? <laughs> uh, I would just say uh, learned a lot more, more experience, you know, uh, more relaxed. Guys, just uh, being around the game and you know being able to play to play up to the speed, it slowed down a little bit more for me since then. How much are you better because of playing with Nick Chubb? You know, uh, I'm better a lot because uh, Nick Chubb is a great back. There's some things that you know I take from his game and some things he can take from mine. So we learn from each other and uh, you know give each other ideas, uh, ways we think we could have got more yards or something out of the run. So uh, we both try to help each other out in that aspect. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Nate Ulrich, you're up. Hey, Kareem, what have you learned about Kevin Stefanski as a play caller so far? Uh, I learned that uh, he's going to stick to the you know, game plan. He loves love to run the football. I love to you know, do other things with the line and schemes and stuff like that. So you know, he's just a great coach and play caller. Hey. What do you think uh, in relation to that, 
has allowed you guys to be so successful in the red zone early on? Uh, definitely just having us on the same page and, uh, you know, being able to scheme up and dial up something, you know, to score. Dan Lobby, your line's open. Hey, Kareem, when we see some of these big runs, it's it looks like it's Wyatt Tuck front a lot. What, what has he kind of meant to this this run game? And, and what have you, you said seen? Wyatt Tuck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's been doing a great job. You know, he stepped up, uh, you know, a lot this season. We need him, and he's a great offensive lineman. But I have to give credit to all those guys up front. You know, they're all doing a great job of making lanes for all the running backs. And uh, Wyatt's been doing a great job for sure. Thanks. Scott Patrick. Hey, Kareem, you mentioned the scheme a couple of times. Obviously, you guys are big time backs, but how much does the scheme that Kevin Stefanski brought make life easier for you guys? Uh, honestly, it makes it easier for us because, uh, you know, we need uh, good lanes and, good, you know, we, we don't want to run where it's six people on that side of the ball or something like that. So it's, it's just, you know, trying to give us the best looks to be successful in each play. When he was putting it in over Zoom in the off season, and even when you guys showed up in Berea in July, could you tell that it was going to be a big time success? Uh, yes, definitely, because he's so detailed and uh, had great runs drawn up and passes. So, you know, I can definitely tell. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. We'll go to Mary, Mary Kay, Marla, and then we'll wrap with Bree. Hey, Kareem, you guys are going up against the, the number one ranked defense in the NFL this weekend. I, I think it's number one against the, the run and number one in points allowed and a bunch of other different things. Uh, so uh, can you just talk a little bit about that and you know what you guys are facing and, and what makes them so good? Uh, we're facing a great team, a great defense, and uh, we just got to come out there and play you know ball like we've been. And uh, everybody do the assignment and job. And it should take care of itself. Thanks. Great. We'll then go to Mar uh, Marla, and that'll do it for Kareem. Yeah, Kareem, I just wanted to ask you about Coach Stefanski, the way he sort of mixes in those, like, risky plays with the, you know, like, you know, he's kind of setting them up, but you know what I mean. But what kind of trust and confidence does that show you guys, I mean, when he's kind of putting it out there on some of those things? Uh, you know, it shows that he believes in his players, and uh, that's definitely a big thing. And he believes that guys can, you know, get the job done. If he calls it, he, he believes in it 100%. So, you know, that's the thing with him. What's it like in the huddle when you hear one of those <laughs> are coming in? Everybody uh, excited? Yeah, we're excited, and we just say we got to make it work. So let's make it work.